All right, um, let's stare at this integral here. Um, uh, first of all, uh, we have negative infinity popping in one of the uh, limits of the integral. So the interval of integration is negative infinity and zero. So this negative infinity makes this integral improper. And, and the good news is that this function x e to the uh, minus 4x is continuous. Okay, continuous on this interval. So it's 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 one of the types, one of the improper, one of the types of uh, uh, improper uh, integrals, uh, right? So in part a, we had one of the limits uh, to be, in fact, the upper limit was infinity. Now the lower limit here uh, is uh, negative infinity. So we're gonna use uh, this type of conversion here. So essentially, I'm gonna let uh, a go to negative infinity, the, lo the lower limits go to negative infinity, and I'm going to convert this integral to uh, a proper integral where you have a and b uh, to be treated as uh, numbers, okay? So uh, let's do that. Um, so here uh, I'm going to rewrite this uh, with limit. So essentially a going to negative infinity, a to zero, x e to the minus 4 x dx okay so we're using all of our integration skills here uh, everything like including integration by parts uh, and all other trick substitutions and everything uh, so in in this chapter in general okay so um, so let me just uh, treat uh, let me just try to see like how I could treat this integral here, uh, especially the indefinite integral x e to the minus 4x dx, because that's what I need. Uh, I need the antiderivative of this function. So we have a polynomial against exponential. So remember our Liate business, uh, Li, Li, uh, Te business, okay? So I have a polynomial which is algebraic, and I have exponential, which is uh, exponential, right? So, so a comes from comes before uh, e, right? So therefore, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use um, u equals x and dv equals e to the minus four x dx towards um, integration by parts. Okay. In the integration by parts, if you recall, I need du, once you call something u, I need du of that, so I need the differential of that, and I need the antiderivative of dv, which is negative one-fourth e to do uh, minus 4x, okay? So that this integral here, uh, this integral here is equal to u times v, right? Minus one-fourth x e to the minus 4x, minus v du, but I have another minus here, so plus one-fourth e to the minus 4x dx, okay? Again, this is the application of uh, integration by parts. Uh, I have one more integral to take care of, um, x e to the minus 4x. So e to the minus 4x is the integral uh, negative one-fourth e to the minus 4x, but you have another one-fourth outside the integral, so it's negative one over 16 e to the minus 4x plus c. Okay, so um, so this is uh, the, the the value of the indefinite integral, but we have a definite integral. So we're gonna uh, use the first uh, fundamental theorem of uh, calculus. So it's essentially me putting the antiderivative here. Okay, e to the minus four x and putting the lower uh, limit and upper limit back here. So first, uh, I'm going to plug in the uh, low, low, well, upper limit. Let's do the upper limit first. Okay, we still have the limit operation here that I'm going to take care of in the in the final step. So when you plug in zero, uh, the very first term is zero because that has x in it uh, in front of the exponential function, so that makes it zero. And e to the zero is one, so that makes it negative one over sixteen. Okay, minus, I'm gonna plug in a for x, minus one fourth a e to the minus four a, minus uh, one over 16 e to the minus four a, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do next is to clean up this uh, this whole uh, uh, 
uh, integration by, par par by parts business and continue from there. All right, let's simplify. Let's get rid of all minuses and everything. So um, negative one over 16 plus uh, one fourth uh, a e to the minus 4a and plus uh, 1 over 16 e to the minus 4a. Okay. All right, let's uh, pull out, um, let's sort of like uh, rewrite the a dependent uh, terms. Okay. That's negative 1 over 16 and 1 16th out. 4, in fact, uh, that comes with e to the minus 4a here, and then I have 4a plus 1. Okay, I think this is nicer. Uh, okay, so uh, what happens is that when you pass the limit, uh, when you pass the limit, look at this term here. So e to the minus 4a. So a approaching infinity minus 4a approaching plus infinity okay so so this term tends to infinity okay plus infinity and this one is already uh, approaching uh, negative infinity all right so negative infinity times plus infinity is going to be negative infinity and this is just a constant term this doesn't dominate this limit so in turn, this limit is going to be minus infinity. Okay. So it turns out that uh, this uh, integral is is a divergent integral because this uh, limit, uh, I mean this, uh, yeah, the limit takes us to minus infinity. That is in fact the value of uh, the de the improper uh, integral. Okay. So this is a divergent uh, improper uh, integral. All right. I think this takes care of part B and move on to part C in the next video. I'll see you there. Bye.